Hey Cancers, it's my second time doing your video. Um, <laughs> hopefully this one actually comes out right. Um, welcome back to Side of the Universe Tarot. We are doing the What You Need to Know in the next 72 hours. If you do not follow me on Instagram, feel free to. I go live every Sunday for week ahead readings. I also go live for the full moon and the new moon readings, which the messages from the full moon um, in Virgo are up. Also... Um, the week ahead readings are also up. Those are on Insight Element. If you're looking for Zodiac specific messages, that will be here on YouTube. So make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe, especially if, um, if the content's relatable. If it's not, that's totally cool. Just, uh, I have like a playlist of endless content, timeless content. If you guys want to go ahead and check that out, I have twin flame readings as well as what, uh, what you need to, oh, ooh, sorry. Twin flame readings and what demon is attached to your karmic and why. Also, look forward to what my website coming out in April where you can book personal readings and buy my books as well as get a sneak peek at all my social media content, which I am on um, TikTok now if you guys are interested. Stars Universe 777. I'm also hosting a raffle. Whoa, that's so crazy. It landed, it, 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 um, it landed up. It, yeah. You have desiring belonging here. Um, <clears throat> I'm hosting a raffle over on Instagram, you guys, if you're interested for uh, to win a one-on-one, -on -one, one-hour session with me. Um, if you guys are, yeah, um, five dollars for for a ticket. If you guys are interested, that I'm hosting that over on Instagram. Okay, the I also have um, all the details in the community board. You have desire, belonging, meeting, and dreaming. Heavy emphasis on Aries energy, Selena energy. I've been dreaming of you tonight till tomorrow. Yeah, you're desiring intimacy here. Either you or the person you're directly dealing with. I was going to say Scorpio. You could be dealing with the Scorpio. Um, Cancer really, really needs to see you. They want to meet in person. They want to talk to you. They want to spend time with you. Um, this person um, with desiring intimacy here. This person is very sexually attracted to you, but this person does not want to have sex. I know that sounds really funny, but with the desiring intimacy here, they want your company. They want your love and attention and affection. One bad ex, we fucked up the next one. <laughs> Fuck boys vibes. You could be dealing with a Virgo. I feel like you turned out a player. Cancer, you turned out a player. This person wanted... I want her and her and her and her and you and her and her. And you're like, but now you got me and me and me and me. Cancer vibes. You're like, no. Like, you're like, I don't want you to entertain me and entertain third party situations. It's either you want me or you don't. So I think that this person, there could have been a, a separation very quickly in, in the dynamic. So you guys could have um been just getting to know each other here in the in the meeting phases here when you decided that you were going to ghost them and you actually weren't going to put any effort into the situation because you realized that this person wasn't going to be um there for you in the long term i mean they thought that you were going to wait for the long term with the knight of pentacles here they thought that they slow down your your life and that they were um that you were going to wait on them but that's a negative you are going to live your best life and if that slows their life down that has nothing to do with you clarify desiring belonging the five of pentacles yeah somebody you definitely left left somebody out in the cold it could have been a taurus here but this person was, it's their own fault because with the seven of cups here, they wanted to explore different options time and time. And again, they want it. I'm telling heavy emphasis on Taurus energy out. I used to want you and her and her and her. And now you got me and me and only me. Get him, Cancer. You're like, nah, you aren't going to play these games. I don't want to play no games, play no games. Fuck around, give you my last name. This person... I feel like this person played with your heart really badly, Cancer. I feel like this person really did offer you some kind of long-term commitment for 44, as I was saying that, and revoked it. So this person could have, you guys could have been engaged, and then this person decided to um, to take that back. Like, oh no, you guys are not going to get married after all. 
um, this person could be trying to make up some kind of excuse that it's like financial issues. It's not financial issues. This person actually really does have cold feet. This person does possibly could have left somebody in the past with the Five of Pentacles energy that they're really thinking about and fantasizing about with the Seven of Cups because they're not over this ex. Yeah, with the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Wands, that's why they blocked the commitment because they they want to know if they could make it work with this with the with this ex yeah the lover's card here you could be dealing with a gemini yeah and they're in indecision here with the two of swords you could be dealing with a libra this person this person's at a crossroads because i think that they started talking to their ex again with the with the um with the ace of swords here I feel like with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups here, this, this person has a family member that's covering up for this person. For this Knight of Cups energy. I'm sorry about that. I have to tell you what just happened. My son took me out from doing the, the reading to show me. We have a we have a fountain in the middle of our of our courtyard. And we have nothing but crows in my block. I have you been watching me for a while. You've heard me talk about this before. We have nothing but crows on my block for the next two blocks. Um, we don't have pigeons. You don't see pigeons until you hit the Lakewood Mall. Um, crows are actually swords energy. Okay? So there was a crow sitting on top of the, of, of the fountain here drinking water. So to me... That's the Ace of Swords energy. Somebody's throat chakra is about to open completely and somebody is about to speak their truth. And like I said, with this Ace of Wands energy here, there's a new there's a new energy because this person is talking to their ex. And like I said, with the Ten of Cups and the Knight of Cups here, somebody is, is um, withholding this information that this person is um, seeing this person on the side here. It could be a baby mama with the Page of Cups here. It doesn't have to be though. It could be a Sagittarius with the Ten of Wands, but um, or in an Earth sign with the Queen of um, Pentacles that fell out. Yeah, the Death card. Yeah, this person's gonna end this relationship because they don't they they want to start something new with this ex here. So Cancer. It could be a Scorpio that you're dealing with. It could be a Gemini. But this person's a straight up snake. Like, I don't know how else to tell you. This person doesn't have no interest in marrying you. You could be dealing with a Libra with the Two of Swords. Um, but this person is def definitely very heaven heavenly, heavenly. I hate it when I do that. Heavily invested in this third party. And this third party is no good. They're no good. They're bad news. Uh, clarify the Five of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. The enemy card here. Yeah. This is your enemy. This is a 12th house enemy that you're dealing with. This is not your partner. This is not your forever person. So this person actually did try to have some kind of engagement with you. This person did try to give you some kind of long-term stability and revoked it. It's because this person is investing somewhere else. This person could have been investing in multiple situations when they first met you. Maybe three or four. But like I said, this person sure the got snaked out because with the ace of wands here and the snake that they're highlighting in the cup in the seven of cups this person charmed the shit out of your person there could be glamour spells going on here yeah surprise there was a surprise meetup this person came and popped that pussy on them one time 911 this bird this girl is dangerous this girl is so dangerous michael jackson vibes you could be dealing with a virgo or a pisces Clarify the lovers and the two of swords. Whoa, the prison card flew out. This person wanted you trapped in this relationship. This person didn't want you to know that they had options. They wanted you stuck because they know that there's something about you that's different from all these other bitches. And that's why they need four, five, six bitches at a time because they need that satisfaction that domination but 
they're starting to realize with the seven of cups to the eight of to the ace of wands that you're the only one they need had they just invested all of their energy all of their love all of their affection on you and strictly you they would have never needed to go and explore these options but because they were um heavy emphasis on led by temptation this person um lost faith they lost faith in the connection they lost faith in you and ultimately it led them to their demise here with the with the death card it could be that there is no um, possible revival in this situation. Maybe this person is stuck in this karmic situation or stuck in this karmic relationship with the Ace of Wands and then the 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 two King Cobra snakes here. Remember that um, a King Cobra, if a King Cobra is bigger than its prey, it will eat it. That's the thing. This person has such a bad domination issue that this person is willing to consume your soul in the process of trying to dominate you. Clarify the Ace of Wands and the Death card. Room, separation. Yeah, there's going to be a separation here. I feel like you're breaking free. Yeah. With the Room and the Lord card, the, the Room and the Lord card here, you have the Lord on your side. Yeah, and I think that you've been communing with the Lord a lot more lately. And this person, I mean, not this person, this energy source itself, God is helping you release and separate yourself from this person because this person is very toxic. Yeah, and meanwhile, the Lord is going to lead you somewhere else where your true love is, is, is at. Yeah, because there's a sweetheart out there that's meant for you. You gotta wait. Okay, any final messages here for cancer? You have, if you get nervous, focus on service. Put your entire intention on answering the question, how can I make the world a better place? And the law of attraction will automatically take care of your needs. The Lord is already here. I'm hearing the Lord is my witness. You could be dealing with a Libra. You could be dealing with a Scorpio. But ultimately what's going on here is that you have total faith in wherever it is that your angels lead you, your spirit guides, the Lord, uh, you know, whatever energy that you are following, you have complete faith in. And because of that, you are favored. And because you are favored, the law of attraction is working at its peak for you. You could be dealing... Um, with the emperor, uh, Empress energy, a Libra Taurus, or an Aries, or you could have some of those placements, but you're definitely using the law of attraction to your advantage, and you're visualizing your success on a daily basis. See yourself doing well in this situation, and have faith in a positive outcome. A positive outcome is here for you because you've done the work here. All right, that's what I have for you, Cancer. I hope this helped. Bye.